Hey guys, welcome back to Justin a Van. My name's Justin and this is my van. So unfortunately I got some bad news. Uh, the van is currently in a courtyard at a repair shop. Um, I was pulling into my house last night and I was just pulling it into the parking spot and when I was turning all, all I could hear was like <laughs> so I was like oh that's not good so I back it up and I try to go the other way and I couldn't even turn it left at all like I could straighten it out but it wouldn't go left um, apparently <clears throat> when I bought the truck they had repaired the frame because it was a little had some rust spots and they replaced the front end of the, the frame like the part the bumper attaches to and everything but just behind that um, like if this here was the frame the steering column is like attached to the frame and and in between the the frame and the steering column it was a little bit rusty and the steering column actually has ripped the frame right from the frame so it's like like that basically so I I could turn right, but I couldn't turn left, so luckily my mechanic is not too far, and I can find a route to my mechanic going all right, so probably not the safest thing, but I had my four ways on and I was going slow. The bad part about this whole thing is he doesn't even know if they'll be able to fix it, and if they can't, he said he knows someone which is in the next city over, or the next little town over, who does uh, frame repair. So, worst comes to worst, I'll have to tow the truck to that guy and have him repay, repay, bleh, repair the frame. Now, I was on some forms last night and it kind of got my stomach in a knot because just seeing some of the quotes that they had. Well, I'm really not financially prepared for something like that, so I don't really know what to think right now. And um, but that's the current situation. I have to wait. I guess the only thing I can do is just wait to see what they say. So I'm not going to worry about this whole thing until I know exactly what's up. And um, I'll just keep moving on for now. Uh, right now you're looking at me sitting in my travel trailer that I originally bought uh, to do some traveling in. Um, I'm going to be taking some pictures of it right now and I'll be listing it online for sale. When I originally planned to do traveling it wasn't as extensive as what I'm planning now so that's why I bought this van or this uh, travel trailer which would have been really good for just weekend trips and things like that to, to RV parks and just things like that. But with the extensive amount of traveling that I want to do, that's why I bought the van in the, in the beginning. So I have no real need for this and uh, I'm going to be selling it. I'll show you it, I guess. So I put all this new linoleum tile in on the floor and I also repaneled it all. It's got a queen, a huge queen size bed, like full size queen size bed basically. Got just a door and a window on this side here and it's got a funky retro countertop that I liked so I 
kept that in there. I decided to use uh, LED battery operated lights. And there's a big closet here with a ton of storage. I would likely put some batteries under there if I were to keep it. And then that's here. I've added this Coleman cooler. It's DC operated. And this here, just a little butane stove that I had bought to use with it, but uh, I'll include that in the sale as well. So, this is the trailer. And I'm going to be taking some photos of it right now. I guess I can show you the outside. So it's all aluminum tier. It's a teardrop trailer. It's from like, I don't know, 60s or something like that. And uh, <clears throat> it would look really good if you polished it all up. That's what I had originally planned to do, like the Aero, Airstream trailers or whatever. And I've resealed all the seams. So it's 100% leak proof right now. Also, my truck's for sale, too. 2007 Dodge Dakota, 124,000 kilometers. There you go, guys. That is the unfortunate update that I'm at. I guess I'll keep you guys posted and I'll talk to you later.